Hello everybody, this is by far my most requested video, because uh, not to toot my own horn or anything, but I was kind of the first person to make a video about the whole I am Sophie thing, so that's pretty cool. And ever since I made that video, my channel has been doing like just so well, and I truly am grateful for that. This will probably be my last video on the topic, seeing as Enbird is already doing an amazing job at keeping people up to date. Also, for anyone that's wondering, I'll just be describing the I Am Sophie videos in the first part of this video, and then in the last bit, I'll be going over a few popular theories. And last thing before the actual video starts, I just want to say I know I've been telling everyone that I would do like a full recap video when the whole ARG ends, but by that time, I think everyone on the internet will probably be talking about this thing. So for now, please enjoy I Am Sophie Part 3, baby. Alright, so let's start from the beginning. On the 13th of February 2020, thousands of people, including myself, were greeted with a YouTube ad titled The New Queen of YouTube Channel Trailer. This video was posted under the name of I Am Sophie, and it was soon to be followed up with the guide to being rich, young, and powerful. These videos were nothing but character building videos for a character we know as Sophie. She was the owner of the YouTube channel at the time. And to summarize her character, she's that one girl in high school that would wear a Gucci scarf to school but still say things like, money doesn't matter. And uh, I don't even know if that's a stereotype, I'm just reciting something that happened in my high school. The first visible sign of this character being an alternate reality game is in her video responding to Leon Lush. Perhaps we could have assumed that her character was fake when she had made her social media platforms around the same time as the YouTube channel, but most people like myself thought she was a real person at the time. However, in this video, she talks about some of the hate she's been getting, most notably from Leon Lush, who is hilarious by the way. And apart from that bit, it's a pretty normal rich girl vlog, right up until the end when the camera glitches. This is what my reaction to that looked like. But if we actually slow down that footage and pause it, we see a girl, but not just any girl. This girl. And that's pretty sick. But after the glitch is cut out, the video ends, and that takes us to my number one super crazy fan. This is personally my favorite I Am Sophie video because it's kind of the ignition for what turns out to be a super, like, just incredible internet alternate reality game. So basically, in the beginning, Sophie receives a message from a fan of hers, and it says this. Hey Sophie, what's up? It's me, Lara. Just came in to say that, like, I was the person in the glitches in your video or whatever. I don't know, I'm a big fan of you, by the way. I just wanted to say, if you want to come over and just, like, try to work out what the glitches were, I mean, you, you can do that, I mean, I'm, like, I don't mind this. Oh wait, apparently she also said something else in the intro. To everyone that wasn't so understanding and leaving nasty comments, you can go and f*** yourself. Whoa! Dang! That was mean! Dang, Sophie! Jeez. But yeah, after that, Sophie and her friend Plum, keep note of that, Plum, go to this girl's house, Lara's house, and look for clues on why her video was hacked. MTV Cribs up in this place! <laughs> yes! Queen! <laughs> yes, Queen! Woo! Yeah! Yes! Queen! Yeah! And as much as Sophie likes the role of playing detective, she's terrible at it. Like, she's just picking up random things as if they have like any correlation to the situation at hand. Hey guys, I think this violet pencil might have something to do with it. I'm getting like a super like strong motive from this pencil. Actually guys, I just figured it out. I think it's the rubber duck. I'm, I'm getting some super strong vibes from this rubber duck. There's also a room that Lara keeps locked and she really doesn't want Sophie or anyone going in there. And uh, okay. She also has a bunch of cat food and cat stuff lying around and she says she doesn't have a cat. And this is something that was overlooked. I really, really want to know why she has cat food. Like seriously, why would you have cat food if you don't have a cat? Hey bro, why do you have life support plugged in if you don't even need it? <laughs> 
There you go. Oh, wow. Okay, you did need it. I'm sorry. Uh, probably shouldn't have fiddled around with that. Then Sophie's friend Mark pulls up, and Mark is like a computer genius, and he knows everything about computers, because he is a computer genius. And then Mark, being the genius that he is, managed to extract this audio file from the transmissions going in and out Lara's internet cable. There's also a bunch of glitches in the footage where there's like a chair in an empty room and someone's screaming. There's also a voice in the background saying, I can see you, Sophie. That one was kind of creepy. <laughs> then Lara starts acting all weird, so Sophie and her cameraman Ben are just like, Yep, nope, we out of here. See you, Lara. You, you're weird, so we're just gonna leave. Plum, however, did not leave. Plum never left the house. Just keep that in mind. Then the video glitches actually continue during Sophie's outro, but uh, then the video ends. This next video though, is insane. If that last one didn't flip your biscuit, this one definitely will. But one of my biggest problems with these videos so far is that the titles of the videos are just way too long to remember. So I'm pretty glad that we're taking things a step back with one one two seven one five one eight nine two zero eight one three dot mp4 nice but i heard on the i am sophie subreddit that this translates to algorithm in some kind of number code or whatever and if you know me you know i love the algorithm and of course i'm talking about the youtube algorithm i just want to pick it up and give it a, a hug and stab in the back with a pen i don't actually have a sword so I'll st i'd stab it with a pen so we see Sophie and her cameraman Ben about to film a video, except this one looks way less professional than her other ones that actually look really good. For example, this one is overexposed, she hasn't chosen a very good setting for it, and the glitches in this one are more frequent than ever. Sophie seems very tired in this video, and she also looks as if she's scared of something. She also looks very distracted too, because um, we see her just come up with the idea to make a funky headband out of a t-shirt. We can also see that her makeup table is completely trashed and someone happened to write a very rude word on her mirror, which I will not show in the sake of keeping my channel accessible. Then Ben and Sophie hear a noise which leads them to go looking around the house and then they find Mark in his underwear. And I really want to know what brand of underwear he's wearing, because I think that could really help our investigation. Then Mark goes on some kind of rant about brain worms or something. You just gotta respect Mark for really doing his thing, you know? How many friends do you have that would happily break into someone's house in their underwear and just talk about brain worms? Respect goes out to you, Mark. So then things start to get mega creepy, and Ben and Sophie are just running around the mansion trying to find a way out. And uh, wherever they go, they just see Mark in his underwear. However, it isn't just Mark, because there's also a creepy suit dude. And by creepy suit dude, I mean a creepy dude in a suit. However, after a while of running around the mansion, it just, the, like, the camera just like, it glitches out. And then when it glitches back in, we see Ben and Sophie trapped in that scary room with a chair in it from earlier. Did I hit my microphone? Did you hear that earlier? I feel like I hit my microphone. Then we see Plum wearing a bin bag, and Mark was not okay with that, so Mark just goes up to her and kills her. Classic Mark. <laughs> also, Lara turns up, and Lara is wearing Sophie's pink blazer from her earlier videos. Sophie then gets tied to the chair, and for a few brief frames, when you pause it just right, we see the creepy guy in the suit. The suit guy. Creepy suit dude. Creepy suit dudes. Creepy suit dude in the chair, replacing Sophie. However, then they just leave Sophie there, uh, and then the video comes to an end. I'm sure some of you might be wondering why I may have skipped a few details, and that's because I consider them, or at least a few of them, uh, kind of non-vital to just getting the story across, because this video is going to drag on a bit. Then in the next video, it's basically the same as Sophie's original channel trailer, except the title is in reverse, and Sophie is Lara. But then near the end of the video, we see that the video itself is being viewed on a TV, by someone and then the camera kind of flips around and we see that someone and it happens to be a guy with a very well looked after mustache the next two videos are also lara's creepy recreations of the original i am sophie videos 
And when Lara gets to showing Sophie's dad, or her dad, I don't know, there is a brief frame where he turns into the weird, creepy suit dude. The next video is Lara's last recreation of Sophie's old videos, and it was meant to be her announcing her merchandise or clothing line, but instead it turns out to be her apologising for something, but we don't actually know what she's done. She also asks the person watching the TV to play the next disc, which translates to us, click on the next YouTube video. However, the next video seems almost kind of unrelated to what's been happening so far because it's just Lara doing like a normal vlog in her bedroom. And the epic moustache dude actually turns out to play two of Lara's discs or videos in one YouTube video, and yeah, they both kind of seem like semi-normal YouTube vlogs. The next one's also kind of a normal vlog, but the only exception is we see creepy suit dude's head on Lara's body. Not sure how that came to be. Lara's next two vlogs turn out to be very spooky, and it's her playing a game that she was anonymously sent via email. And the game, of course, is the guide to being rich, young, and powerful. But it's kind of just like an 8-bit recreation of I Am Sophie's earliest videos. But like, some of the lines are kind of like, changed. And also, Leon Lush gets a cameo, and I don't think Leon Lush is actually in on the ARG, so they made this video pretty fast. So something leads me to believe that they are actually working on new videos as we speak, they don't have them all ready yet. Leon be wrong. We can see that the further Lara gets into playing the games in her two-part Let's Play series, you can, you can kind of tell the more like upset or nervous or worried she gets, and then at the end, there's just some voice telling her to stop playing the game. And then she stops playing the game. L listen to me really carefully, okay? You need to stop playing that game. You've, you've, just, you've just got to stop playing the game immediately. Don't, don't go on it, don't play it anymore. Um, send it over to me and I'll, I'll try to deal with it. Okay. And we couldn't have known whose voice that was until... Da -da -da -da, the next video, yeah! This video is called I Can See You Too, and it starts with a room and some guy just busting out some sick moves. Then all of a sudden we can see that his head comes into frame, and this epic moustache guy! Who'd have known that this creepy guy was actually such a good dancer? I would- I'd, I'd happily see him dance. <laughs> Take that, N-Bird. Now you're the second best I Am Sophie dancer. There's quite a lot of rambling on in this video, so to summarise it, Epic Mustache Guy was just dominating the dance floor when all of a sudden, he got a text from Mark, probably the same Mark from earlier, saying that he had some malware on his computer and he needed him to check it out. And I thought Mark was the computer genius. Mark's a phony! But I still respect him. Anyway, yeah, this guy checks out the malware or the game, and the game happens to be the guy to being rich, young, and powerful, and he sends it to Lara, saying, hey, check out this game, you should play it on your YouTube channel. I don't know. I don't know where this guy comes in, in the whole I Am Sophie kind of saga or whatever. I don't know if he's meant to represent, like, a casual viewer of Lara, or maybe he's meant to be some kind of, like, Thing. Just a quick side notation, if anyone knows the proper timeline of the videos so far, I would really appreciate if you could leave it in the comments for everyone to see, because I feel like that could really help people out. Thank you. And then the next video, just out of nowhere, is Lara reacting to someone cutting their eyes out and shooting themselves. Not the nicest thing in the world, but this next part really surprised me. I nearly, like, flipped my biscuit because of how exciting this was. Lara was in her room, and then we hear Sophie, Lara, and Plum discussing, like, in the, in the detective video, the crazy fan video, and, like, Lara, the one in this video, was in that video in the room that the other Lara didn't want Sophie and Plum to go in. What? <laughs> Yeah, should we go upstairs and like investigate that? Moving on as backup, detective, <laughs> let's brief. You know, I I've got like some really tight lemonade downstairs that I make for you guys. Do you not want to try it? Elementary, my dear Watson, back me up. <laughs> no, no! 
That's insane. This is so well thought out. Props to whoever is making this whole thing. Like, seriously, whoever is making this thing is an absolute genius. In this video, we also get some better footage of Creepy Suit Dude. And throughout the last handful of videos done by Lara, we see kind of images or glimpses of Sophie either dead or holding on by a strand. And then the last one is just a normal Lara vlog again. I don't feel like it adds a whole ton of insight, but it does give a bit of Lara's perspective. So I'm gonna link to the I Am Sophie YouTube channel in the description, so you, I, I highly recommend that you check these videos out for yourself. Now I know I said I'd go over a few popular theories at the end, but here's my theory on theories. I don't think we should discuss theories just yet, because we don't have anything rock solid that the whole community can agree on. I'm sure that by the end of the ARG, will definitely have some kind of solid thing to work off of. It's going to be clear as day what the narrative is, but I just don't think we're there yet. So yeah, I don't think we should uh, make any guesses too quickly, but I don't know. If you guys have theories, leave them in the comments. As always, I'm responding to every single comment, so leave a comment, please. Also, I want to give a big thank you to the moderators of the I Am Sophie subreddit, because one of those very cool moderators posted my video on the subreddit. They described me as an awkward kid with a microphone. All in, all in good taste though. I just want to say thank you so much uh, for making me a part of the I Am Sophie community. It's really done a lot for my channel. And even though this is most likely my last I Am Sophie video, I'm definitely going to stay active in the community, post on the Reddit page and stuff like that. And yeah, just a thank you to everyone that's been watching my videos, sharing them on the Reddit page, everything like that. It means a lot to me. And if you liked this video, please feel free to press the corresponding button. And um, I don't usually shout out my social media on my YouTube channel in the videos, but you can follow me on Twitter at jcamgold, link in the description, where I'll just be quick posting my thoughts about the whole ARG, maybe going over a few theories, I don't know. But yeah, thank you so, so much for watching all this way through, and have a nice day.